When I am subtracting with mental math, I can also use the subtract from 100 strategy. So if I break apart my 529 into 100, and then everything else that would be left over after that would be 429. That way I can subtract 70 from my whole, because I couldn't do that originally because I didn't have enough tens to do that. So 100 minus 70 is 30. And then I can go back and put my number together with addition by adding 30 to 429. And that is 459, since three tens and two tens make up five tens. I can also use subtract from 100 by decomposing my number into 100 and then 58. That way I can subtract using a number that has multiple tens and ones. So 100 minus 98 is two. I'm going to add that two back in with my 58 to make 60.